Yeah, we do have the scattered thunderstorms back in the forecast for today, especially west and southwest of the Metroplex. That's where we'll have the best chance for the rain and thunderstorms today. So let's get you on out to DFW Airport. A lot of folks may be trying to get out of town for vacation. Hopefully we won't have any big travel disruptions out at the airports today. But yes, there may be some a little bit later as we get into the afternoon as we do have those scattered showers and storms that are expected to move on in. So 75 degrees as you just saw there out at DFW. So there's that big cluster of thunderstorms moving out of the panhandle. A couple of flash flood warnings are there as well with the uh, heavier rain that we're going to see. This is going to be moving south and east. And we've seen a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings there as well. Now this first uh, initial cluster here may weaken some as it begins to move into our far western counties a little bit later this morning. But we will see some development a little closer to the Metroplex as we head uh, toward midday on into the afternoon. Now that severe weather threat, as I mentioned, is going to be very low today. Marginal risk you see out towards Stephenville, Meridian, Eastland, and Breckenridge for a hail and wind threat as we go through the day today. So we will have some stronger thunderstorms in those areas, maybe some heavy downpours from time to time as well. So here's that time cast as we go through the day. You see the showers and storms still not a whole lot happening, maybe scattered about in our western counties as we head toward lunchtime. But then for that drive home later today, look at the scattered thunderstorms start to develop as we heat up a little bit more coming home later today. But again, the better chances will be off to our south and west out toward Eastland and Breckenridge. Breckenridge down toward Brownwood that continues into the early evening. This is around 6 7 p.m. Those do begin to start to taper off the showers and storms do as we head towards sundown and after and by midnight. I think things settle down and those rain chances begin to dry up altogether for us. Then we'll turn our attention to the temperatures. Now today with the cloud cover, especially in our western counties may not get out of the 70s today. Thanks to the cloud cover and the showers and storms moving in. Think we'll get into the lower 80s across the Metroplex, probably those mid and upper 80s a little farther east later today. But beyond today, once those rain chances dry up, we're going to be back close to 90. I think tomorrow still a little bit below normal, and then those temperatures jump into the 90s, well into the 90s as we get into the weekend. You see Saturday and Sunday on Father's Day, we're going to be up around 96, and those 90s are sticking around in that 14 day forecast. You see we will get into a stretch of some dry weather through the weekend, and then by early next week, the rain and storm chances do return to North Texas as we head toward Juneteenth. Slight ones right now, but look at those temperatures. They're not going anywhere with those low mid 90s sticking around through next week. All right.